All right, guys, so today we're gonna be talking about gold. And more specifically, we're gonna be talking about the purity of gold. When gold prices hit at about 1,500, a lot of people's looking at gold. But what a lot of people may not be looking at is the purity of gold. Is the gold you currently have, is it three nines fine? Four nines fine? Five nines fine? Yes, five nine fives exist. Five nine five exist. Five nine fine exist. And today we're gonna go over some of the basic knowledge you guys need to know about fine gold. And we're starting now. Guys, thank you so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. My name is Eli. This is a community on its way to 10,000 strong. If you guys would like to help support this community, you guys can help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a comment, leaving a thumbs up. Find me on my social media platform, Urban Lifestyle 1989. And don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. And if you guys do decide to join this community, I sincerely want to say thank you in advance. So question of the day. Did you guys know that the American Silver Eagle is not three nines fine? Comment down below, let me know. Oh, but wait, Eli, the American Silver Eagle is not three nines fine? Then what is it then? Well, that's what I'm here to explain to you guys, so follow along. All right, so the first thing we wanna know is fine gold. What is fine gold? Fine gold is almost pure. Not quite pure, but it's almost pure. That's the definition, almost pure. Like, honestly, that's what I found when I looked it up. More commonly, like the silver counterparts, silver has three nines fine, gold has three nines fine as well, all right? So we can see it as 99.9% .9 fine, or another way to simply put it is 999 fine, or another, another simple way to put it is 0.999 fine gold, or another, another, another way to put it is three nines fine gold. Trust me, man, this is hard to do. I should have bloopers for this. Now, like a psychic, I know exactly what you're gonna ask me. Well, dang, is there such thing as 100% pure gold? Well, dang, I, I honestly didn't expect that question at all. Like, man, I thought you was gonna ask me, what did I eat this morning? But anyways, 100% pure gold is virtually impossible to make. That's it, virtually impossible. Yeah, I guess this is what they mean by virtually impossible, because, what, this is an eraser? Oh. I thought it was virtual reality glasses. But anyways, yes, 100% pure gold is virtually impossible. Now, the purest gold that we can actually get is five nines fine gold. Yes, that's one, two, three, four, five nines. Well, what is 24 carats then? And why is that term more popular? 24 carats is nothing but four nines fine. That's it. Three nines fine is another way of saying 24 carats. Not five nine, not four nines, but three nines is another way of saying 24 carats. Now, when it comes to gold manufacturers, they're actually allowed a half carat tolerance when making gold. I don't know about you, but if a manufacturer is making gold for me, I want all of it, even that half that they're allowed to be missing. I want it all. Now, another fun fact about purity when dealing with gold is 995, not three nines, but two nines and a five. That is the minimum allowed in delivering gold bars. Two nines fine or 990 is rarely ever seen, but is still used. And we still consider that fine gold. Okay, Eli, that's good. There's nothing lower than that, right? I feel like you're gonna say, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. 917 is widely used for gold coins. Ah. Coins like the American Gold Eagle, the British Silver Region, and the South African Cougarans, they all use 917, which is 917 or 917. Fine gold in them, which means it is pure gold, but just not as pure as it should be or as it can be. So the whole point of this is, hey, I bought me an American Silver Eagle. And when I bought it and I paraded it online and I was like, yeah, I got this, I got this, I got this American Golden Eagle. And then the comments was like, well, huh, I'm not even buying those, man. Those are not pure. Like the grade in that is even lower. Man, you're just jealous, man. Come on, man, you know, be happy for me. And then I went on my smartphone. Damn, he's right. So what does that mean for me going forward? Would I still be buying American Gold Eagles? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know yet. With the price of gold being this high, I'm not buying any gold right now. I'm waiting for a small dip. Not even a small dip, a huge dip, all right? I'm waiting for that dip to go down a little bit more, maybe 1,200, and then I'll buy. But if I do buy, 
and I can get the American Gold Eagle or I can get another gold coin that possibly has 5.9 or 4.9 or maybe even 3.9 and they're both relatively at the same price. I'm going for the higher grade of gold. And that's just my thoughts. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I want to know what you guys think. Did you guys know about all this I just mentioned today? Comment down below. Let me know. But guys, thank you so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Thumbs up. Have a beautiful day. And don't forget to always work and grind. Everything.